Welcome to State University. I'm your RA, Doug. Well, you can call me the Dougler, just like my dad does. You like that intro? I do too. It's the Dougler, you know, from undergrads. Great show. I highly recommend it. Anyway, I'm here to review the 2004 video game for the PlayStation 2, Fight Club. Now, when I first bought this, I had heard of Fight Club, but I've never seen the movie. I know it came out in 1999 and it had um, Edward Norton in it, uh, Jared Leto and Meatloaf and some other actors, and but I didn't really know the entire story of Fight Club. So and I, to this day I still haven't even seen the movie however I had heard that there was a video game based on the movie that came out like five years after and I was like really and I remember years like a couple years ago I remember me and my friend Fugitive Red Eye were actually talking about Fight Club because that's like his favorite movie uh, and he was saying that there was a video game based on Fight Club and I didn't know but he said it wasn't that great but I like ab about a month ago I saw this game in my uh, video store or game store I was like you know I'll give it a shot six bucks what the hell anyway I decided to play this game for the first time and I have to say it's not a bad game it's not the worst game in the world but it's at the same time it's not the best let me explain basically the story is it it's from what I've been told it's like its own story of the Fight Club series I couldn't really tell you much of the characters you know other than uh, Angel Face and Bob but I do remember the story being kind of like very short and kind of all over the place and I know it's like about the story is basically about this guy who joins Fight Club and you know kind of has to keep it a secret because you know number, you know rule of Fight Club don't talk about Fight Club you know but yeah, anyway, the story of this game is okay. My, one of the problems I have with it is that it's short. I kind of wish that they expanded on it a little bit. It kind of reminded me of uh, Celebrity Deathmatch, although unlike Celebrity Deathmatch, that game actually didn't really have a story. This, however, does. Um, and I have to say um, it's pretty interesting the gameplay sort of reminds me of Mortal Kombat in a way but it's tri it's kind of tricky it almost feels kind of like some of the combat when you're fighting kind of feels like I don't want to say rig because that would make me sound like a certain YouTuber who's infamous um but this game it's got a lot of good act um, moves that you could do it's got a lot of blood so for those who love blood in their fighting games you'll be satisfied with this but um, the game also incorporates finishers sort of like Mortal Kombat like what I mean is like if the if there's a caution sign in your oppo opponent's health bar, you could do a finisher. Kind of like how in Mortal Kombat, if, you, if they say finish him or finish her, you could do like a button mashing combo. Although in this case, you do two combos. I've only, from playing this game, I only know two ways you could do the combos uh, X and square which breaks their arms and L2 and R2 which 
break their legs. And sometimes you won't always, you know, win with those, but those are the finishers in this game. And one thing that I will say, if you are playing this game, always block. Trust me. Like, this game is like... Remember when I said it was like Celebrity Deathmatch? It's like slightly harder. However, it's not too difficult if you know what you're doing. The game runs at 60 FPS, which is really nice, you know. I kind of miss when games used to run at 60 FPS, personally. But it is what it is. But the game is... It's honestly... I wish, like I said, the combat is kind of limited. You have strong punch, light punch, strong kick, and light kick. You can do combos with them, but not a whole lot of combos. And they kind of... It's sort of limited on what you can do combat-wise, which is unfortunate. I kind of wish they would expand that on that, and like expand on the the finishers as well like I wish every character in this game had their own finisher to me that would have made the game a little more unique but it is what it is and I don't mind how they did the finishers too much there's a couple of modes that you can do there's arcade mode there's story mode which of course you know story mode and of course there's a bunch of other modes that you can do and there's even unlockable characters for example you can actually play as Fred Durst in this game from Limp Bizkit not even kidding he was friends with the director of the movie and he was like can I be put in the game and he was like sure so he was He's not voiced by Fred Durst, unfortunately. In fact, another complaint I have, and I don't know if it's just my copy or if my PS Slim PS2 is acting up, but whenever you beat the opponent, your character's mouth moves, but you don't hear any voice work. Which, to me, is a little lazy. Like, they, it, feel, it feels like... It almost feels kind of unfinished, like, the way they did that. I kind of wish they implemented voice acting. Also the cutscenes in this game are a little cheap. They're, they remind me of, they're basically stills for the most part. There's a couple of animated cutscenes but there's like three total. If that. And I kind of wish and after that you know it's like still shots of like animated cartoon like and the animated uh, cutscenes it's I will give it credit though that's the the cutscenes are sl are better actually marginally better than the Aquaman the video game cutscenes those are just pictures straight up no voice acting just it's almost like a, you're watching a slideshow but it's um, any other things I can think about this game uh, I did mention blocking and you can like reflect on the opponent's attack sometimes if you time it correctly. Which is pretty cool. And yeah. Uh, this game was also released on the Xbox, I think. I'm pretty sure it was also on the Xbox. And I think there was going to be a GameCube port of the game, but I think they canceled it. Shame, because I feel like this game would have easily been a, uh, sort of a, at least a cult classic on the GameCube, but eh, what can you do? This game, when it came out, it kind of got attention, but kind of didn't. Like, I looked it up and... There's people who do like this game and some people who don't. And honestly, it's okay. Like, it's good, but it's not the greatest fighting game ever made, nor is it the worst. 
I heard some people say like they wish that there was like modes other than fighting, which I mean I don't see why because the game's called Fight Club. It's a fighting beat 'em up. But anyway, one of these days I will watch the movie so I can understand the characters a little more. And I do want to find interest in reading um, the novels as well. And I hope they do make, you know... I heard there's even a Fight Club 2, like a book, but... Yeah, there is. But as for this game... I don't know. I To me, this is a good game. It's not the worst game, but it's not the best. It's just in the middle. But it is worth picking up if you can find it. But just remember, always block. Because if you don't block in this game, you're going to lose so fast. And I mean that. But... Anyway, uh, I guess that's my review. I'm not, I don't really give scores on games, but if I were to give a, a game rating, a C plus. It's good, yeah. Better than Celebrity Deathmatch, I'll say that. They put a little more effort into this than that game. Not that Celebrity De Deathmatch is a bad game. I mean, it's okay, but... This is a little better. Anyway, I've rambled on forever. But anyway, uh, this is Anthony B. Uh, thank you for watching my review of Fight Club, Fight Club the Game. And I'll see you in the next video.